what is up? Welcome to another vlog. My name is Jessica, if you're new here. Uh, we are just vlogging the next few days. Today, this morning, Mr. Pinocchio, I took him to a vet appointment. Well, it was like a nail trim and he always gets so nervous, but we've tried like going to places like PetSmart and he, I mean, he, you can hear him through the store, but when, ever since we started going to the vet to have them do it there, they do it in like three minutes. He doesn't complain or cry. He's definitely nervous, but it seems to be the best case scenario for him. And I got comments last time when I mentioned like, oh, we need to get his nails trimmed. Some people were like, oh, you should do it on your, like at home on your own. It's so much cheaper, blah, blah, blah. We've tried that too. <laughs> and in fairness, it was when he was more of a puppy, but uh, it was a rough experience. So we're like, yeah, we're not doing that. We're not trying that again. <laughs> so he did it. We were in and out in a few minutes and he was very brave. So he got some tweets, but he is sleeping now. Very happy to be home, I'm sure. Um, so that was our eventful morning, but I am, I just finished getting ready and I'm going to go to finally a hair appointment. I am so excited. So I'd mentioned in a recent video, she's been doing my hairstylist like money pieces and i generally really like the way they look when my hair is done and especially when my hair is freshly like done you know what i mean but i feel like this time it, the difference is just too stark and this was a little more yellow than i wanted it was straight off the bat and um yeah i don't know i i think if we do them again i'm going to talk to her i want this a little bit lighter so that way it doesn't look as stark but yeah i might just do away with that we'll see what she says um and of course i'll show you the after here in you know a few hours so i'm gonna grab my book i'm reading okay <laughs> i'm doing a book update video very soon because i've finished a lot of books recently so that video is to come but one i just started is lessons in chemistry and i'm actually reading this with some girlfriends uh we're starting like our own little book club and I'm really excited. This is the first book club I've ever been a part of and just super stoked. But we <laughs> we keep joking, none of us have ever done this. So we're like, wait, so do we read the whole book? Do we read like half the book and then meet? Like how often do we wanna meet? What does this look like? And none of us know. So we're just kinda flying blind. But we decided when we meet here soon, we're just gonna read to the halfway point. Cause I think we read, we all three read at very different um, speeds. So it's hard to say, and like all of us have young kids too. So it's just trying to make sure we can actually get to where we want to be when we're meeting reading wise. So I'm excited. I literally just started it the other night, so I'm not super far into it, but it is super interesting already. And I know there's a movie of it, so that could be fun to um, see in the future. Although, you know, the book is always better. I finally bit the bullet and invested in a new laptop and I am so excited. It's supposed to be delivered today. So I'll definitely chat about that later and show you which one I picked out. I, oh my gosh, it, it was time. And the one I've had, I've had for a long time. So we'll chat about that in a bit, but I'm gonna go get some dishes done and then go to my hair appointment and read. That's the best part about a hair appointment. <laughs> By the way, I got some of these mason jars, the larger ones. If you saw my last vlog, I did a, uh, like, supposedly your fruit lasts longer if you put them in mason jars because they, it's more like vacuum sealed, so mold can't grow as easily. We've been loving it. Tyler's been loving it too. Fruit doesn't last a crazy long time in this household, so I don't feel like we're the best scientific experiment for it but nonetheless it has definitely i think helped it last longer we're it's already rinsed once we put it in here and cleaned so we're just we're eating more of it so we bought some more these are the 32 ounce ones on amazon just because i think i only had one maybe two of the larger ones and i was like well we usually have three or four different kinds of fruit so i got some more of these which was great but we get, need to wash them so most of our dishes, our new system, by the way, has been to wash our dishes every single night, like run the dishwasher every night. Generally, with two kids, it ends up being pretty full anyway. But by doing that, then in the morning, it's become a routine to just put generally. I mean, this is a little later in the morning than I would like to have done it. But generally, on a normal morning, we kind of put those away while the kids are eating breakfast then we're ready to go so then dirty dishes can right away start going back in the dishwasher because our problem is when this happens it starts to build up 
Um, we were off our schedule because I hosted a baby sprinkle for a family member this past weekend. And so like, we just had a lot more dishes than normal. Um, anyway, so that is that, but yeah, just excited to be back on our schedule. Cause I really do feel like it makes a big difference. Um, and we've got all of these dishes already rinsed, which is also helpful. We've also developed a new system where we moved around some things in our kitchen recently. We got rid of a lot of like pots and pans we just weren't using. I've mentioned how I've been in that decluttering mindset, which has been so nice, hence why I have like clothes I'm passing on upstairs. And it, that's more than just clothes. It's shoes that don't fit, old purses I didn't even realize I had at the top of my closet. Anyway, but we also kind of went through our kitchen and in doing that, we freed up a lot of space and condensed some things into like one drawer that was previously maybe in two, but we also moved some things around to make more sense for how we use our kitchen. And so we now have the kids things lower where they can actually reach it. I don't remember which friend of ours we recently saw and they were talking about how their kids can reach their, like the, their own cups and bowls. And I was like, wait, that's, that's absolutely genius. Especially when you have a kid that is a little bit older and she's already trying to climb up to get the things. But um, it's been kind of nice because now we just take all their plastic cups that we have, you know, and just throw them in this lower drawer. I'm not worried about organizing them because A, we go through them so quickly, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Like within a day or two, we've used all of them up so they don't like stay all straightened up and organized, but it just works out so well. And then maybe you can reach it. It's funny how those little kinds of changes can make big, I don't know, it can really just like make your life a lot easier. I think that's pretty cool. All right, dish is done. Already running the dishwasher again because that filled it up. But that is a good feeling. And now off to my hair appointment. <laughs> okay, I absolutely love it so much. And my Silas, even at the end, was squealing. She was like, this is the best it's looked. I'm like, no, 100%. So I love that she kept it bright around there, but now it really does blend in. And it is a lot lighter. I'm so curious to see Tyler's reaction. I, I just think it's fun. It is so different for me. So different. But I was just in the mood, you know? And bonus points because I got about a fourth of the way almost through the book. So that was time well spent in more than one way. We're at work. I've got my new MacBook. So I ended up after months of deliberation because I've been thinking about doing it. And finally I hit a point. Oh, was it like two weeks ago where I was like, I, it took a full two minutes to load an application like my email or whatever or Pages or Microsoft Word, any of that would take like two minutes to open. Then it would finally open. It'd take like another minute for the cursor to finally blink so I could type. And I was just like, I'd done all of the things, clean my Mac. Anyway, it's like seven or eight years old. It was time I think to replace, especially considering I have big video files I use on it, etc. So I went with the MacBook Air, but it's the one that has the M2 chip, if that means anything to you. Honestly, I didn't know anything about this stuff. I still don't know much but I know that the M2 is one of their newer chips and it's super fast, um, like super high power. They have an M3 as well, but it was even more expensive. So I had to order it online to order more storage and more, um, I keep wanting to say horsepower, you know what I mean, memory. But I mean, you might be able to do that in store too. I don't know, but anyway, so I ordered online. They had different color options. Oh my gosh. I went with the Starlight, like kind of gold. But I went with a 13 inch MacBook Air because it was the lightest. I think it's like two, a little over two and a half pounds. And I plan to travel with it. Previously, I wasn't really bringing my laptop with me when I travel, I'd just bring my iPad. And if I had to do any work while we were traveling, I would borrow Tyler's. But I would, I would like to travel with mine, but mine was so slow anyway, I was like, I don't wanna travel. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I'm not doing this in an ASMR way at all, am I? Look at that, it's so pretty. I know my sister-in-law I think has this color too. I didn't even know this color existed until I saw hers. It's funny though, in like certain lightings it just looks silver, but then when you look a little closer, it's got that like 
golden tint to it. It doesn't, I mean, it feels light, but it definitely feels a little thicker than the MacBook Airs I had been used to. Like, I feel like the old school ones, both the like screen and the keyboard part came to a thinner point. Oh, baby. So excited. All right, so I'm gonna let it run through its stuff, but this is one, I don't know if all of the new ones have this. They have the like touch ID fingerprint thing. Don't judge all my drinks over here, okay? All right, I am just about to leave the workspace, but um, yes, got it all set up. I still need to download the actual apps I use, um, but this also had a lot more desktop backgrounds to choose from than other ones I've had, like even my like desktop computer, which I find interesting. I mean, the reality is it's a desktop background. You can find a million, you can make your own, but sometimes I like just choosing the Mac ones because they're really pretty and this is no different. This is gorgeous. This is like the fifth time in the past few weeks I've just worn face makeup, but no eye makeup. Like I wore concealer, brows. I'm wearing the CoverGirl Essence for my foundation. I cannot believe how much I'm loving that. Um, and then I still did like a little bit of bronzer and blush and some powder, but I've been digging the no eye makeup look from time to time. And it's easier, you know? Also, I did a an Instagram reel on the GHD duets duet style. They sent this to me a while ago and I finally tried it. It's pretty cool. It's a blow dryer and straightener in one. I'll link the YouTube short for it because I kind of go into a little more detail, but I have been liking it. It is very pricey though. So I would say if you don't like your hair straight, like if you're not wanting the straightened look, there is no purpose for this in your life. Like if you need me to tell you that, cause you're like, Oh, it looks really cool. I kind of want to save up for it. I'm just saying if you don't like the straightened look, you don't need it. But if you do, or especially if that's like your everyday look, I think you would absolutely love it. I really do. Every brand is making these kinds of two-in-one products where it's a blow dryer and brush that kind of straightens. I did get questions asking like, okay, how does this compare to like the brush blow dryers? I like this better and my reasoning is that I have a little more control with this um, and I'm able to straighten closer to the root of my hair versus with those, I feel like I end up being done and it doesn't look totally finished and styled as much as this one does. So hopefully that's helpful if you needed that information. I need to get my Bible and my like Bible study book thing in my bag and get going. It is a super rainy day out. to fold some laundry so I figured I'd sit here and do that and chat with y'all and have a uh, early afternoon coffee. So one of the topics we talked about was uh, the idea of like your worth and what is it and I'm going to talk about this more in my next getting real chat video um, where I like talk about a specific topic. If you didn't see my first one in the series I just started it. It was um, all about trends. We talk about like fun trends and stuff in that one, but we also get a little more serious about like what trends are really doing to us as a society. And so I, I found it interesting to film. I hope you found it interesting to watch. The next one in that series for this next month is going to be about perfectionism. Earlier while I was eating my um, lunch, I actually was scripting out that video and planning it out. And I I'm getting really pumped to talk about it. This one's gonna be a little more, I was gonna say not less fun, but you know what I mean, a little more serious than the trends one was. Um, and I think that'll just kind of be the way of it depending on the topic we're talking about. The thing we were talking about in Bible study today was what is your core belief that you formed as a kid of what makes you lovable? What makes you feel accepted? And usually whatever your answer is, is kind of, and I'm, <laughs> This is not exactly what we were talking about. I'm kind of adjusting it for 
my audience versus like obviously in that sense we were talking about biblically and all this kind of stuff but what are those things that if you were to finish the sentence i feel loved if i do this or i feel loved as long as i do this how would you finish that sentence it was pretty eye-opening for me um a lot of it came pretty quickly to me like what are those things that i feel like i have to do to be accepted or to be loved by let's say the people around me um my family what were those things growing up because a lot of times whatever you would um whatever those are a lot of times those were formed when you were a kid and it's kind of interesting to be able to name those things i think is the first step to kind of figuring out how to break free from a lot of that i think a lot of that leads to people pleasing which i'm definitely guilty of um, anyway, we'll get in deeper in that video. I don't want to talk too much about it here, but it's just been on my mind today because that's what we talked about and I can't stop thinking about it. I have been back on my doing a load of laundry a day kick now that we've been home for a while and it, you know, things are getting back to normal after travel. So that is nice. However, I haven't been as good about putting said laundry away each day. So now I'm catching up. So... I can't decide if the system actually works or not. I'm thinking maybe it, do it doesn't. I was reminded today by some lovely ladies that right now with the age that the girls are, I really am in the thick of it. I'm lucky that I do have some days where I can get work done. And sometimes I'll choose during a work day to spend some time on laundry because I used to not, because in my mind I would be like, no, like if this is a day they're either being watched or they're at school, like I need to be doing work only. But I had the realization I don't know, was it a few months ago that part of my work as just a mom is keeping the house in order. And when I don't have time to do that when they're with me, because I'm playing with them, you know what I mean? I'm wanting to spend time with them. Then I shouldn't feel guilty about using this time where they're not here to get those things done. Does that make sense? And I don't know why that was such a big realization for me, but it was. And so to be able to release the guilt, like Jess, it's okay to use some of this time for house maintenance and you know getting those things done getting the dishes done whatever it's just been nice i guess that's all it's just been nice tonight i think we're just gonna do leftovers tyler made this really good ham and bean soup you know the bag of beans that's 15 bean soup it's like the classic been around for 100 years well tyler loves that stuff i i think it's okay but i will say when you follow the directions on the actual bag it's really good we followed another recipe online and it had good reviews and it was not bad. That's what we have left over, which we'll have for dinner tonight again. It was not bad, but it's very different and way more like a chili. And it wasn't really what we wanted. We wanted the, the kind that you make that's on the bag. So I will say the next time we do it, we're going back to the bags instructions, the old school recipe. So good. But yeah, we're trying to incorporate, <laughs> you're gonna giggle, more beans in our diet. <laughs> Um, so that is a great one because then you have leftovers too and you're eating on it throughout the week for lunches and that's always nice too or for leftover dinners. But he also made some baguettes to go with it and those were so good. I just love bread and dipping it in um, olive oil with a little Italian seasoning in there and some like Malden sea salt. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys, we finished the crown. We finished it. I can't believe it's over. Um, I gotta tell my, my mom and dad to, that the new, the second half of the last season is out. Um, cause I know they were watching it. We kind of laughed because we were like, as it was ending, we both looked at each other and decided there was no other way to end it because they could just keep going. I know spoilers, don't worry. Um, but they could just keep going and going and going, you know, they could go into even more present day, et cetera, et cetera. But at a certain point, they knew they were ending now and they could only cover so much ground. So I think the way they ended it made sense, but there's just the me that wants more. Like I want more of what's going on now, but I think it's a little, like a lot of it's too soon, too touchy, but wow, what a show. What a unique idea that they would have different characters playing these characters over the years as they get older. I think at first I was like, I don't like this. Like I'd gotten used to Claire Foy and what's his name? And then, but in the end, it makes so much sense. And I think they did a really good job um, with bringing that idea full circle 
in the at the end of the season and series as well. So if you've never watched The Crown, highly recommend. Really, like truly, so many people in my life watch it and they're all very different people that watch it and everyone loves it. So I think it's just one of those shows that most people would like. But uh, yeah, okay. Thanks for helping me get some laundry done. Cheers. <laughs> guys the sun peeked through today and the amount of joy that it brought me <laughs> is ridiculous like even Tyler he was like just got the sun I'm like, oh! <laughs> like looking outside it has been too long we've had a lot of great days in a row I know a lot of you guys have too and that I think I can deal with cold weather I can deal with a lot of the things winter brings but there's something about having so many gray days in a row that is really rough on the mind, <laughs> the heart, body, and soul. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this part of the video. The reason I bring that up is because I was just thinking, you know, it's nearly dinner time. I'm going to get prepped for dinner and it's not dark yet. Cause like in December, the sun was setting at like 4.30 tonight. I was just checking the sun sets at like 6 PM. So it's just, it's exciting to have just that little bit more daylight. I'll take what I can get. So we have loved HelloFresh for so many years. I'm excited to be working with them again here in 2024. Tonight's dinner is honey butter barbecue pork chops with mashed sweet potatoes, which is one of my favorites. Lemony green beans. This looks so delicious. We love HelloFresh. It makes our life easier. Any week that we decide to order HelloFresh meals, we feel like we can breathe a sigh of relief. We don't need a meal plan. We don't need to grocery shop and do all of the things. It makes life so much easier. We've got two young kids, as I know most of you guys know, and it can be hectic, <laughs> especially come dinner time. So we love the recipe cards they send. They lay everything out step-by-step, step, super easy to follow. But each HelloFresh box is packed with farm fresh ingredients. Everything is pre-portioned right to your doorstep. So much less hassle, so much less wasted food. I also love the variety. HelloFresh has over 45 different recipes to choose from each week. They have their calorie smart or protein smart options if that's what you're looking into. They also have their quick and easy recipes that usually take around 15 minutes. I am a big fan of those. Another thing I think is really cool that now HelloFresh is giving a totally free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery. Love that. I'm a big fan of breakfast. It's super easy to use HelloFresh. You just choose your meals. You select your delivery date. They handle all the planning, the shopping. If you are ready to check out HelloFresh, you can go to hellofresh.com and use code JBRONFREE for free breakfast for life, one breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. So again, that's code JBRONFREE at hellofresh.com for free breakfast for life. Okay, time to try it. And I'm honestly filming this little bit before the rest of the family joins because it will be chaos. <laughs> Um, the butter melting off the pork chop. I mean, this calls, you make your own honey butter and it takes like two seconds and it looks incredible. Here's the pork chop. The mashed sweet potatoes, 10 out of 10 as always. So good. All so good. It always is. All right. So I am about to go run some errands. I need to mail some things, need to go to the store to get a few things and then continue working. I actually filmed a, an Instagram reel slash YouTube slow short slash TikTok um, this morning on that CoverGirl Essence that I've tried, well, a lot recently, but I tried in my recent video. I am loving that stuff. I have worn it nearly every single day and I just put a little bit of powder foundation on top just to tamp down the shine and make it last a little longer. It has been so fast and easy. So I just love it. I brought it up a weird amount because I really did not think I would like it. So, but I am, I've gotten a lot of comments like it feels so expensive and it does. I think it retails for like $21 and that just seems insane. I remember the days not that long ago that for $20, I mean, you're almost to a high end foundation price point, especially like 10 years ago when I first started doing this. So it just seems crazy that that's where we're at. Anyway, of course, if you were trying to get a product similar to the Chanel one that it's supposed to dupe, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if they're actual dupes. I've heard mixed things. I've heard some people say absolutely it is and other people say absolutely it's not. Either way, I just like the CoverGirl product as it is and it's certainly cheaper than that by like $50. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, enough about that. 
I'm gonna, I need to eat something quickly and then I'm gonna get out of here. I couldn't tell you the last time I was in TJ Maxx. It's been, I don't know. Just cause there's, there's one kind of close, but not super close. So anyway, I'm looking at the makeup. Hmm. Lots of like drug story type finds. Oh, huh. This was like the most viral thing ever. The, oh my gosh, that's crazy to see. Of course, most of these are like already swatched, but that's the KVD Good Apple Foundation Balm. You couldn't find that for the longest time. Also, hey, it's a favorite, the number seven Restore and Renew. I feel like it can be very hit or miss on like what brands are here. Stila, oh my gosh. See the eyeshadow palette? I used to be so into their eyeshadow palettes like eight years ago. If I'm being totally honest, I came in to go to the bathroom because <laughs> I knew where it was and I needed to go. <laughs> but now I'm like, well, I'll just do a quick little scan, you know? I feel like skincare wise though, they usually have a lot of good, a lot of good brands. They've got like a Cure, Olay, L'Oreal. They've got some Murad stuff over here. Some of the Peace Out. Dark Spot Serum. Wow. I don't know about retinol on a stick though, you know? Also, Waleda. That's a really good brand too. There we go. Paracone MD. Nice. This is my favorite. Hairspray, it's like 10 bucks here, so I will probably, if I decide to get anything else, then I'll wait in the line and buy this too. Love that stuff. Okay, well, I got lost in the kids' clothes. Found some cute dresses for the girls come like spring and summer, possible Easter dresses, honestly. So cute. Look how cute. Ooh, we are precariously placed. Okay, well today took a turn because I did not expect to actually shop as much as I did at TJ Maxx, but I got a lot of the stuff for the girls. But I'll show you the couple little things I got for myself. Most of them were just in the checkout lane. You know how it is. You know how it is. So because I was gonna wait in that line, which I think it was 35 minutes today, um, Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray, like I said, I love. It's 10.99 there, which is amazing. I also got this purple bubble headband. These are the ones that are like made from the towel material, like terry cloth. I only have a like beige colored one. And since oftentimes I, I use it to hold my hair back, but oftentimes I will also vlog with it on because I'm getting ready and vlogging. And I was like, I want a color that's a little more fun than just the boring beige. So this light purple, it was $4.99 as well. They had every color under the sun, light pink, dark pink, purple, lime green, blue, like all of them. But I, this is just my favorite color. Well, I started looking at those AirPod cases. Look how cute this one is. I was like, yeah, that's happening. It's just too cute. Again, the one I have is a really boring beige. And this year is the year that I break free from sad beige. Um, I like it in certain things, but I feel like so much of what I owned was just that beige that I'm like, I like certain colors and I like flower patterns. That's my favorite. Um, so anyway, so this is the year that I break away. But I did, this was like a true checkout lane grab. This looks just like my nail color. It's the OPI nail polish in Chiffon of You. Um, it, I mean, that looks exactly like my nail polish color, but this was a dipped powder with chrome on top. So I'm excited to see if this works um, or if it looks even similar. They had another one from Orly that looked exactly the same. It's not super opaque, but yeah, I'll just be kind of curious. Um, it'd be nice to have this for if I need to touch up, but also for my toesies. Okay, Sandra Boynton's one of my favorite children's book authors, and I am on a mission to collect all of her books, which is a pretty big mission because there are a lot. We have a lot of them though, that we've had since we had Genevieve. Um, oh my gosh, those are new ones I haven't even heard of. Oh my gosh. So this one is Doggies Accounting and Barking Book. So excited to read that to Lissy tonight. And then I did get myself two clothing items. I got this set of pajamas. I love this color so much. Like if light purple, like lilac, lavender type color is my favorite, 
Periwinkle is like tied with that. And then this color sage green is right underneath. I thought this was such a pretty color. I am on a mission for some fresh pajama sets. I like long pants and short sleeves on the top. I'm not a big fan of long sleeves to sleep in. In fact, I don't think I can sleep in them. So this was, I think, 14, no, 16.99. It didn't seem see-through. A lot of the ones that were there seemed like they were completely see-through. Like I could put my hand on the other end and very clearly see my hand. So this one was the only one that didn't seem it. So quick go through of the kids stuff. They had a lot of Jessica Simpson kids items, although this is not one. This is for Felicity. Look how cute. I love, again, that color blue. And then it had little pants to match. And then this little springy dress from the Rachel Zoe brand comes with a little purse, which just makes me laugh, but I just love the dress. She could wear it to church. We could do Easter in that if we wanted. This little outfit, I am a big fan for little toddlers, matching sets. There's something about that that is so cute to me. Mm. And then this little dress for Miss Felicity as well. So cute, maybe get like a little cardigan. And then Miss Genevieve, this beautiful pink dress. She will, she's so girly. It's cute. Like anytime I bring her home new clothes, her reaction is adorable. I just love it. So this little set, she loves, well, I love for her, but I know she's comfortable in play dresses like these that are super stretchy. This was this two pack for $9.99. It was such a good deal. The patterns are so beautiful. So this one and that one. And then I also got her this cute little springy Eastery pajama set because she has outgrown most of her pajamas. So Oh, and the last thing I got for myself is, so I got those jammies and then I got this shirt. It kind of feels like that scuba material. I know, talking about sad beige, um, but I just love this neutral color and it kind of looked looser and it's meant to be active wear, but I thought this is perfect. Again, it's thicker, not super see-through, so I could wear it with jeans, but I also could wear it with leggings or yoga pants and it works either way or just to throw it on after a workout. So I feel like I don't have a lot of shirts like that. That's everything, like I said, turned into a way bigger thing than I ever intended, but here we are. Um, I have a couple more errands to run and then I have still hours of work to do. So I'm gonna have to run the rest of these errands pretty, pretty quickly. Well, it is a Friday mid-morning, getting some work done. Um, my editors are actually out of town, so I'm editing the video you're watching. I'm about to edit it. Um, and I think the grocery haul will be editing. And uh, it's weird because I haven't edited in a while. I just said that word so many times. I'm kind of excited. I will say one of the greatest things I did for myself was hire editors because it was really hard to relinquish control. And it was A, good for me <laughs> to relinquish control, but also it has, I mean, the amount of stress it has removed from my work day, I feel like I can enjoy filming. I used to like rush through filming, get as many things done in one day as I could filming wise so that I would have time to edit in the week. And now I feel like I can actually enjoy the piece of this. Like the whole reason I started my channel was because I enjoyed chatting with you guys and editing took away a lot of that joy. So best decision I ever made. I don't know why I went on a rant right now about that. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Again, thanks to HelloFresh, of course, for sponsoring a part of this video and supporting my channel this year in 2024. It is appreciated. If you guys are ready to check out HelloFresh for yourself, you can go to hellofresh.com and use code JBRON free for free breakfast for life. That's one free breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. I'll have the link and everything down in the description box and in a pinned comment for you guys. If you have not watched all of my recent vlogs, definitely check them out. I'll link my vlogs playlist. I have them organized from most recent to least recent. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you can go back, see if you miss any in there. And I love you all. I hope you subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.